This is Charter Local Edition. My name is Brad Pomerantz. We're in the San Gabriel Valley today. We are joined by Gloria Negretti McLeod. She's a trustee with the Chafee Community College District. Congratulations is in order. Chafee was recently named, I guess it's a finalist, is that right? Or there. A semi-finalist, maybe, uh, for the 2017 Aspen Prize. There's uh, there's 15 colleges nationwide. 100, that are, 150. No, no, 15 oh. in the top the top 15. There's Chafee is one of them. So then they compete for the best college. Wait, so it's already gone it, down. To yes, the, to 15. So, so Chafee is one of 15. Chafee is one of 15 community colleges in the nation that is the top. For the Aspen Prize, which, That's by the way, is granted every two years to the top community college in the United States. Uh, the winner receives $1 million in prizes with Siemens Technical Scholars Program student scholarships. This is huge. Well, it would be terrific if we could be number one. Sure. But just being in the first 15 of the entire community college uh, so family how, nationwide. How, how did this happen? Um, <laughs> I, this happened before I ever got right. there, but it's it's a process that they use, uh, academia, that they use right. to, to filter out the colleges that right. are to get the best ones. How much pride you must have and your community much ha must have to even be considered for this prize? Well, I, I kind of laugh because uh, considering it's one of 15 in the nation, right. you know, there's people say that they can't come to the Inland Empire because there isn't any qualified people oh God, to work. Yeah. So, you know, you've heard that, I'm oh, sure. Oh, yeah. And so I'm saying, Look at this. Yeah, how, yeah. Ca how can that be if this is that? And if you think about it, uh, this prize is hoping to build upon technical scholars. And in uh, the coming weeks, there's going to be a ribbon cutting for an industrial technical learning center that will be affiliated with Chafee College. That's correct. Tell us about that. This is a collaboration between federal government, state uh -huh. government, local businesses, and Chafee College to put a technical learning center in Fontana at the uh, on the grounds of the California Steel Industry, which is right uh, in Fontana on on Cherry. And so I is the steel industry in operation or are you repurposing? Oh, no, no, no. The steel uh, industry okay. is off on sale. Okay. They had a whole bunch of land that they I ceded see. to us that they could put this technical school there. H how did this happen? Well, this happened, again, before I got there. It's all but, good. But... Uh, working with government, it was some kind. They had to go through a process of right. of getting the permits and all that, and allowing the government to say this is a good cause. So, what will happen now? Chafee students will be able to and take community people uh, take courses at Intech. Uh huh. Yes. As part of getting their associates or certificate. Well, or it's industrial uh, learning center, so it'll be all of the industry that are uh -huh. around the area. I want to shift gears and talk about another program, and I must say, when you told me about it, I got chills because I was very touched. Uh, it is very easy for us to express tremendous anger at those that are in prison and feel as if we shouldn't give these people a leg up, they committed a crime, and just throw away the key. But we know a lot of these individuals are going to get out of prison except for the most hardened criminals, folks are going to get out. And I think we've kind of turned a page as a society, both Democrats and Republicans, that we need to help these folks get back on their feet. Because if they don't get back on their feet, what happens? They go back to prison. And so Chafee College is working with the California Women's Institute, a women's prison in Chino. Tell us about the program. Well, again, this is before I got there, but this was the ninth graduation that I attended. I've actually attended a couple of other when I was right. in other elected. Right. You were an assembly member, elected a senator, a congresswoman. Yeah. So this was a graduation. There was 17 graduates that get their Associate of Arts in business because they feel that's the best way that when... But when think the, about this. These women mm -hmm. who are in prison, they've done something wrong, they are getting a college degree. And you know how it works? They have mentors of other women that have already gone, that have already got their, uh -huh. their degrees, and they help the new people and they work as their mentors to help them do the coursework and everything. This is life changing. I mean, for I many have, of them, yes. I have to think that so many of these women never dreamed. They could ever get a degree. Well, there's actually somebody in there who's quite prominent as a 
as an inmate there who's okay. been there. She's a lifer, but she's already got her degree, and she's one of the mentors that helps these people to, to do it because they're not used to being on a on a regime sure. of doing homework and doing this and right. and presenting uh, presentations and doing their coursework, and so they help them. But of course, it's up to the students. Right. And so they graduated 17, but when I went, there was only 11. Uh, five of those had already left. Left because they Be were left released. Because they were released. Which makes the point mm -hmm. that these women, many will be released, and as a result, when they're released. They are released with an associate's degree. They also have a program like this at the Institute for Men, which is in Chino also. And Through they Chafee? Have, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, this started a long time ago. There was a program in San Quentin oh, wow. that they do some kind of a program called Books to book to Prison. Sure. And they do that. Tell me about some of the women. Have you met them? I mean, did you meet the 11? Did sure. You, I shook hands. Yeah, did tell, everything. I mean, what, what was your sense of them? Because sometimes, you know, I, I visited prisons and, and, and there's kind of an emptiness to some of the inmates. Oh, I don't know. I guess maybe because I'm another woman. I have been to the prison, yeah. oh, probably about five times in my other capacities, sure. being elected to other offices. Yeah. So I had visited there numerous times, and they said, do you want me to tell you how to do this? I said, no, I know I'm how good. to do this. Right, right. <laughs> and so I have talked to the women there, and you're absolutely right, not only here, but for men too. They're going to go home at some point, most of them. Yeah. Ten, Probably 90% of all right. prisoners in the state prisons are going to go home. Yeah, they're not lifers. Mm -hmm. And so when you look in their eyes as they're getting this diploma. Whoa, they're jazzed. I, that's a good right they're word. They're jazzed. They're jazzed. And do you know about what's happened to any of the graduates? Do you know? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. But I'm sure somebody does. And I would love. So you, you asked me to get I you know. some information. I, I would love, if possible, on a future episode for you to bring one of the graduates on, if they're willing, mm -hmm. and talk to them. Because I think it could be very um, informative for many of us. Well, it's, it's kind of hard, though, because this is the only women's prison now. Right. There used to be two, one in the north, one in the south. We'll see. Now, this is the only one. So a lot of them leave here and go right. back to their home base. Well, hopefully we'll find someone. I want to talk about, I mean, you've been an advocate for education for so long, and one of your uh, colleagues is on the Montclair, Ontario Unified School Board, and he called you and said, Gloria and Greddy McLeod, we're having Read Across America, come on down. And how could you say no? No. I mean, I've done this before, again, in my other capacity. Right. And so uh, I think it was... Uh, not too far away, not in the past. Right. It was called Reading Across America. You come in, and it's generally during Dr. Seuss's birthday week. Oh, right, I forgot that. Yes. Yeah. And so, you know, you do the hats and you do the things, and so you read a book. But I had a third grader, so I didn't do any Dr. Seuss. I picked another book. So t <laughs> tell me about why it's important for you to do, to be engaged in such a way. I mean, look, you're serving community college students now, and so you easily could have stayed because home. Because... The, the children that come out of K through 12 are going to go to our colleges. So the more we're involved in that particular area, the better it is for us as we receive them. I want to make sure that they're ready to come, and we've spoken about this before. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that they're ready. I want to make sure that, that, the, that the high schools ready them. And I think that is the high school's um, aim. They right. want to be sure that their students are ready to go into community and, and college. Since you have been visiting schools for so long, do you feel as if, as it relates to reading, that we have turned the corner a bit so there aren't as many deficiencies? Because, look, Chafee and other institutions often are dealing with remediation. I got to tell you, I'm um, my great-grandkids that I watch... You have great-grandkids. Yes, I have great-grandkids. Yeah, I have be that as me. So, and the homework that they do, I go, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. I mean, I can get to a point because of the way I learned, but oh, that's not oh, the way the Common okay. Core is. I have a sixth grade daughter and an eighth grade daughter. I'm out in math. I'm completely out. I cannot even help my sixth grader. It's, it's really remarkable how advanced they become. Uh, I want to thank you so much for joining us, as always, and You're hopefully welcome. you can find one of the graduates okay. of the Women's uh, I Prison will try. Program. I will Her try. name is Gloria Negretti McLeod. She is a trustee with the Chafee Community College District. I'm Brad Pomerich in the San Gabriel Valley. It's Charter Local Edition.